Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, and this is Aries energy. So this is an energy of someone who is uh, reliable, stable. They're showing up as being very much in their masculine energy. This is a healthy masculine energy, divine masculine kind of energy. And we are seeing someone who's a good leader and uh, a protector, provider type of person. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. The Three of Cups, Water Energy, and the Sun, Leo Energy. So this person could be reaching out to you. They could be extending themselves in some way. Um, in fact, they could even be inviting you somewhere. Uh, possibly a social event, a gathering. Um, this person could be also reaching out to you with good news. Because we do have um, an in a card here with the Three of Cups. It's an energy of celebration, um, positive energy. And then we also have the Sun, which is also a very happy energy, a very expressive energy. So this person is coming towards you with good news. News. Um, you know, they could be inviting you to a celebration or giving you news that's worth celebrating about. Um, so let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower, and this is Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries energy. So yeah, this is an energy of someone who is trying to make sure that they can build a stable foundation with you. If this is someone who you were once involved with and are no longer involved with, like you may have experienced a tower moment with them, um, it could be that they, there's, they're creating an opportunity to rebuild with you, to repair things. There's something here about addressing some sort of tower moments. Whether you and this person are separated or if it's just something that you, you, you guys came to some sort of bump in the road in your actual connection, this person is repairing, helping you repair. And it looks like... Um, that you guys are avoiding a tower moment in this relationship. You're avoiding some sort of disaster. You're seeing that this person is the kind of person where when the going gets tough, they they don't they don't give up. They don't get going. This is someone who steps up. This is someone who who values the connection enough that they're willing to work through any any difficulties or struggles. And you'll be seeing that this person is actually very loyal to you. By the way they handle this, um, they, they're they showing you that they, they're willing to put in effort for the connection. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So yeah, this person is definitely extending an invitation, um, some sort of, it's like they could even be giving you their word. Um, there's something solid about the way they are approaching you you're going to be viewing this person as dependable and reliable and really seeing that this person is very much for you. Um, this person is solid. Uh, with the chariot, there's again that energy of overcoming an obstacle. Um, you know, despite difficulties, there's something about still not giving up and pushing forward despite it. Like you guys are overcoming something that was a challenge, something that could be a setback. Um, because this person has this resilience when it comes to this connection, there's this feeling of winning together, you know, thriving and staying together, being on the same page. And ultimately, arriving at a point where there's cause for celebrations, like there's some sort of successful overcoming of a, a difficulty in this connection. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So you guys are definitely working something out. And it looks like there's a very positive outcome here that benefits both people and leads to a lot of joy and fulfillment within this relationship. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you. Okay, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So yeah, this person is going to be going out of their way for you, making the effort, um, keeping this relationship together. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have iris rainbows and messages when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars so this person is really going to be coming up as like being a light in the dark this is someone who is uh coming towards you with good energy like they're turning a situation that could have went left into a, a positive situation like there's that feeling of the light at the end of the tunnel the part of gold at the end of the rainbow there's something here about this person saving this connection or you guys both working together and mutual cooperation to make this connection last and you'll be seeing how resilient your connection to this person is and how committed this person truly is to you okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice um sagittarius Okay, so we have surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Okay, so it does look like there's some sort of conflict or a tower moment that may have already happened or that is going to be avoided if it hasn't happened already um, and you guys will be working something out as a team okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius